hashtag get ready for the hashtag hashtag get ready for the hashtag hashtag it's time for the hashtag hashtag it's time for the news welcome to hashtag i'm your host john spears hashtag is where you learn about i don't know stuff for our first segment our one and only game in the format jamel fellow is here to give you the latest updates on video games My name is Jamel Frello and I am the Gaming Informant. The game we're talking about today is Madden NFL 16. This game came out on August 25th of 2015. The whole game kicked it up a notch by adding in a whole new variety of features. They added in a whole new song list for a better experience while you play, which really gets you into the zone. First off, let's talk about Playmaker. It's the latest and I would have to say the best new installment in the NFL gaming world since the move to Xbox One and PlayStation 4. This year, Madden NFL 16 Booster is Playmaker with all new controls, making the game feel more realistic every time you touch your controller. New QB mechanics, which include body-related throws, rollout passes, plus touch, and many more. It kind of makes you not want to skip any more replays ever again. The reason I say this is because you can now see every single angle of the catch or the play that you made and see it come into perfection. It's just amazing. The players look more lifelike instead of pixels. They kind of look like wax dolls. Since the game just came out recently, the price of the game is still $59.99, but I am telling you it's worth every single penny. Unfortunately, the old Superstar mode is gone. I really used to love playing it. Next time, we'll be talking about the new game coming out in late November, Black Ops 3. But for now, this is the Gaming Informant signing out. Thanks, Jamal. See, most peep females like me don't play video games, but I'll take your advice and <laughs> try to make a touchdown 2K. <laughs> Swish. Anyways, have you ever had too much homework and not enough time to finish it? Here's Anaya Clark of The Why of It All. Hi, I'm Zanaya, and today's assignment is about homework. Homework is important because it helps you get a better understanding of what you learned during the school day. But how much homework is enough? How much is too much? Today we're going to look at the student's point of view about homework. Ms. Blanchett gets a fair amount of homework every week. Here's her perspective. I think homework can be effective as a teaching tool. It should teach students time management skills, responsibility, and reinforce what they're learning in the classroom. But if you have four classes and 45 minutes of homework for each class, that's over three hours of homework a day. Homework becomes an overload of classwork that students have to take home. And when it comes to students that have a prior commitment, such as sporting events and after school programs, homework can tend to go undone. Yes, it's a yes and no thing. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on it's your practice. Like if it's a hard practice, you come home, you're going to be tired, so you don't have time for homework. For some students, homework can become a burden, especially for those students that don't have the time to get it done. So is homework really beneficial if students don't have the time to complete it? I would like to think I'm giving my students just the right amount of homework, enough so that they're practicing skills, but not so much that it feels like busy work or too much. I pretty much get homework every week. In English, we have to write uh, eight paragraphs for a whole week. We have two weeks to do it. It's a pain, but we have to get it done. For Hashtag News, I'm Zania Clark. Yeah, people at CBN know who the boss really is. And uh, Jerome was talking to her. It's Ms. Mason. Hi, I'm Jerome Hutchins here with Ms. Mallory Mason, the Partnership Pro Program Manager at CBN. Hi, nice to meet you, Ms. Mallory Hi, Mason. Hi, very nice to meet you. It's good to have you here. How do you feel about GMA and CBN's partnership? I feel great about it. I think it's important. I think it gives uh, students an invaluable opportunity to, like I said, uh, have and gain experience in the professional world long before they even go to college, which uh, I know myself to be uh, extremely valuable and important. Um, it gives students a chance to try different things and learn uh, what they love to do and maybe things that they don't like as much, which I think will help support um, better decisions moving forward. Um, it's important to know what you do like and what you don't like. Uh, it'll save you a lot of time and money. So I think uh, it's very helpful in that way. And uh, just in general, I would say the support system that's been created between local businesses and the school system here in Hartford uh, provides an amazing opportunity um, for not only the students 
again, to gain that experience, but also for the employers as well uh, to get to know the community, uh, the young people who will be coming up and who will be the future uh, of our nation. Can you describe JMA and CPBN's partnership? We are going to our third year. So this is our third year of the partnership. Um, so we look forward to many more great years to come. What made CPBN partner up with JMA? Again, I think the city as a whole uh, understood that there was a gap in education. And this is one of the strategies to attempt to close that gap. Um, to provide enrichment opportunities for all of, uh, really, the state's youth, not just Hartford um, itself, but a lot of the surrounding towns as well, um, to just create a, you, a new and unique opportunity uh, to, again, get that hands-on professional experience uh, before going to college. Do you think that JMA will lead in, as an example to other schools? Yeah, I think, you know, what I can say is in the last three years, uh, we have proved that this model uh, can be successful. Uh, we've had a very successful uh, partnership with JMA, and I think that does set a good example uh, for other local businesses to see the value in what it means to partner with a local school. Um, and again, not just a value for the students, but also a value for the businesses, which I think is important. Um, it champions diversity. It champions, uh, you know, what a uh, well-rounded education really looks like uh, and how it could really help our youth uh, transform. Ouch, why'd you do that? Shut up. Stop domestic violence. That PSA was from some up and coming JMA students. Abuse can be a really big issue. If you see or know or is being abused, tell someone immediately. Now here's Martasia. Martasia and we are here with Lucia and I am your host for today and Lucia I have a few questions for you in your fashion industry. So the name of my show is um, Martasia Do's and Don'ts. I have a segment in the show. So is there some don'ts you want to display or tell me you cannot is a no-no you can't do in the modeling industry you can't match up these type of colors you know? Um. One thing that's definitely a don't um, is like pattern, like matching plaid and um, stripe does not go together. <laughs> it does not go together yeah, and together. Um, that's a definitely a no-no. If you're wearing a dress um, and the dress is a certain length, so mm -hmm. for example, if you're wearing like a summer dress and it's over your knees, um, I understand that your feet might hurt if you want to wear like stilettos yeah. or like pumps. Um, don't just put any random sneakers with your dress. Um, another thing I would say. What um, is something like if somebody walked by, you'd be like, oh girl, you should not do that. What I would something? say, I would say definitely with like layering because I've noticed a lot of people like, I get that it's cold, mm -hmm. um, but watch how you layer. Watch how so you layer. So it's like, if you want to be comfortable and look good at the same time, and you want to, like, layer, I would say definitely put, like, a long sleeve shirt mm -hmm. under. It doesn't matter what color. Actually, it does matter what color. Um, I would say, like, a solid color. So, like, black, white. Um, or like a gray, and mm -hmm. you could put like a button-up shirt. Mm -hmm. It could be plaid, it could be plain. You could like put it under and then like a really nice like um, winter sweater and just like tuck in, tuck in that um, 
the end of your wrist. And I am your host, Martasia, and this is Lucia Osmond. And it was a pleasure to get to know you. Thanks for talking with us today. It was my pleasure. <laughs> That's it for today's episode. Stay tuned for more hashtags. Hashtag get ready for the hashtag. Hashtag get ready for the hashtag. Hashtag it's time for the hashtag. Hashtag it's time for the news. Three, two, one, hashtag. Ha, 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 ha.